Recently, the museum acquired a, an unusual instrument, a 465 Mod UC. It's a standard 465, but with an added digital storage option. And as, as a, it's a stock 465 except for the button, which is the trigger view button on a 465. is now the uh, storage mode button when you push the button all the way in. Uh, when you push pull it all the way out it functions as a 20 megahertz bandwidth limit in, in non-storage mode. And the storage is implemented in a doghouse quite like the uh, DM44 option. And unlike the 468 which is something of a follow on to this it has the same depth as a 465. There's no bustle in the back. The digital storage is entirely implemented in this uh, penthouse section. There's no microprocessor. It's just all uh, some kind of state machine logic controlling the acquisition and display. And it's considerably simpler than a 468 in terms of capability. It seems to it uh, samples at a maximum of 100 kilohertz or 100 kilo samples per second. 10 with 10 bit resolution. Right now it's running in analog mode. To go to digital mode, I'm going to push in the digital storage button. And each time you do, okay, it doesn't get acquire continuously like most digital scopes do. It only does a digital acquisition when you push the thing. Uh, Put in single sweep mode and push the single sweep button. So, and uh, has a couple of modes of operation. It has voltage cursors, um, and it has two knobs, one for the each cursor, each line. Uh, unlike the 468, which has a single knob and then a button to choose which. Uh, cursor the knob controls has a time mode which is like the 468's but it's not quite as accurate as the 468 it's not if I were doing the same thing on a 468 it would say 500 exactly but um, it's supposed to be within, I think the spec, the spec is about 3% for timing and voltage for the cursors for the uh, 468 mod UC. This instrument uh, is one of actually 37 different variations on the 465 that our microfish shows. Um, we understand it was built, this modification was done for uh, one particular customer, possibly a military customer. But it has, uh, and it might be a forerunner to the 468. 468 though is based on the 465B, an improved 465. Whereas, um, again, this, this mod, 4, 465 mod UC, uh, is built on just a stock 465. One of the other modes that it has is called the overlay mode. Which is sort of, which is sort of analogous to the save reference mode that uh, a lot of digital scopes have, but what this one does is each time you do an acquisition when you're in overlay mode, the old acquisition goes into the overlay and the new acquisition is displayed. You can move the overlay if you want for, for comparison, direct comparison with a, a previous acquisition. But uh, once you've positioned or once you've done an acquisition, you can't move the 
uh, most recent acquisition. So it's kind of clunky. Um, it's much less flexible than the 468 is. Now another thing you can note is that the um, the display is just made up of individual samples as dots. It doesn't have the ability to interpolate vectors and draw a smooth display like the 468. The fastest sweep speed is one millisecond. If you go faster than that, then this uncal light lights, and uh, it won't. You actually won't do an acquisition above that. So this is strictly a low speed device. Again, 100,000 uh, 100, samples per second. 